Hi, welcome to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer based in Brooklyn, New York. And here we discuss all things hand lettering, creative tutorials, and product reviews. Today, we're talking about ribbon lettering. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks. And I've also put together a handy guide for you guys, which is ready for download in the description box below. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video all the way through though, because I don't want you to miss out on any of the tips and tricks that I have sprinkled throughout. Are you ready? This is gonna be a good one. So as with most things, we are going to start by drawing our guides. Now that my guides are drawn, I'm thinking of lettering the word beauty. As I'm going through this sketching phase, I'm not really trying to make it look super fancy. I'm just really thinking about the forms of the letters, the openness of the counters, the loops, and sort of trying to envision how I want my ribbons to look. Once I've got my pencil sketch done, I'm going to lower the opacity and select my small chisel brush. I have the small chisel brush favorited, but you can find it under the lettering category in Adobe Fresco. Now that I have this part of my piece down, what I like to do next is to lower the opacity, get out my pencil brush again, and trace on top of this. Follow along closely because through this process, it'll show you and help you identify the folds and loops in your piece, which will help you in the next step, which is coloring. So now I'm going to take that sketch that we did, I'm going to restore it to 100% opacity, create a new layer, create a clipping mask, choose my colors, and start coloring. Feel free to use whatever colors you like. The basic rule of thumb for this process is I alternate every other section. So I basically just identify my loops and folds and say this piece will be red and then this piece will be like the darker red and then just alternate as I go throughout the entire word until it's all done.
And remember that pencil outline that we did from before? Well, if you ever get stuck, feel free to just turn that layer back on and see how your folds are laid out. That's what I like to do even now after I've done this quite a few times, just so that I know exactly where my colors start and stop in each section. I find it to be a pretty handy way to uh, get the coloring process done. And by the end of the process, you'll end up with something like this. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel for weekly content and check out my other videos in Adobe Fresco and my other videos on lettering. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one.